The properties panel is what we're going to talk about in this video, and it can be seen right here on my workspace. If you can't find it on your own workspace, you can go to Window and choose Properties. The Properties panel allows you to view and edit information and characteristics of the currently selected element in the Flash document that you're working on. This element could be a shape or any object on the stage, one of the tools from the toolbar, or even the Flash document itself. For example, I'm going to use the Selection tool to select the rectangle on the stage. Once it's selected, you'll see the properties of that rectangle appear in the Properties panel. You can see the width, the height, and the color properties to name a few. Aside from being able to see this information, I can also edit them. For example, I can change the height and you'll see the rectangle adjust accordingly. Whatever set of properties you see here depends on whatever it is that's currently selected. So if I select this circle instead, then you'll see its properties displayed in the properties panel. If you wanted to see the properties of the flash document that you're working on, just use the selection tool and click on an empty area in your document window. This will display the document properties. You can see information such as the action script version being used in your document, the size, and the background color of your stage. If you select a tool from the toolbar, you'll also be able to see its properties displayed in the panel. Right now, we can see the options for the pencil tool. We can set things like the stroke height, which controls the thickness of your pencil strokes. We can choose from a set of different stroke styles and a few more other options. So now, when I draw my pencil strokes, it's going to use the properties that I just specified in the properties panel.